So XRP had an interesting end of 2020. Uh, the price broke out here at the end of November, uh, making new highs for the year, going all the way up to about 80 cents. And then it was followed by a correction, which was also followed by some pretty bad news, which was a lawsuit from the SEC towards Ripple, claiming that Ripple did sell XRP tokens uh, as a security. And when that news broke out, XRP came right down, broke all support levels, and came right below that 200 day moving average. Did bottom out around that 20 cent range. Uh, you can see there is some support here at about 20 cents. And then now it is starting to make a recovery, which now brings the question, uh, is it going to continue and bounce from here to go test that 60 cent resistance level? Hey everyone, it's John here with currency.com at real John Doe on Twitter. So right now there is a lot of uncertainty for the price of XRP. So in this video, that's what I'm going to be talking about and try to make it a little bit clear for you guys on what's going on with the latest news and also which way the price action can go and also what we can expect to happen if it goes either way. And also, if you want to show your support to the channel, uh, go ahead and hit that like button and also right on the channel or right below on the video, uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And we will keep these videos coming out for you guys, help you guys out. We'll grab all the content for you guys for the top cryptos. Put it all in one video and we do put out about three videos weekly as you can see here on our channel so if you do subscribe or you already subscribed all you got to do wait for us to post a new video and hopefully it is the one to help you out the trader sentiment right now for xrp continues to be bullish 91 percent buyers nine percent sellers the price leaning towards the high of the day and it looks like it did bottom out here from that huge correction that we just got in the crypto markets and now it is going back up to test those highs from last week so right now talking about support and resistance levels for xrp first support i'm looking at is right at around 27 cents it's close to the 200 day moving average but also right where the price broke out previously in november of 2020 24 cents is the next level after that which is the yearly open then 20 cents is the next level that i'll be looking at after that uh, which was the lows for december 2020 towards the upside 35 cents the first level of resistance uh, which was right around the 50 day ema and then 60 cents after that uh, which was the november and december monthly support levels and then 70 cents is the next resistance to be looking at if those others break uh, which was the highs for 2020. there has been quite a bit of drama uh, with ripple lately which has been one of the main reasons xrp's price has been affected since that lawsuit from the sec a lot of things have been happening such as delistings and it is possible that some of these exchanges know something that we don't regarding xrp being a security which is why they're delisting or halting it but as of right now no official news has came out yet major exchange coinbase announced that they will be suspending xrp trading this week and a lot more large exchanges also are doing the same and blockchain.com has been the latest to say they are doing it which will be in effect on january 14th and it's also been reported by will alert that co-founder of ripple jeb mccaleb has sold about 400 million dollars worth of xrp in 2020 his average price for selling was about 34 cents per coin uh, and that is only about 27 percent of the xrp that he does own so that is one thing to keep note of if the selling does continue his sales have been timed pretty well uh, not really affecting xrp's price too much they do happen before any big major news happens and also reported here on blockchain.news uh, grayscale investments has also removed xrp uh, from its fund and grayscale is the world's largest digital asset manager so this removal could potentially be a pretty big hit on the price for xrp and exposure to new investors as they come in but now let's have a look at the price action and see how it is getting impacted by all this drama and bad news for xrp since reaching those highs uh, back in november and december of 2020 price came straight down having a correction and then eventually broke down past the 21 the 50 and the 200 day moving average uh, making it technically now that we are below the 200 day moving average a bear market or a downtrend but it is still early to stay right now since the price is ranging right on the 200 day moving average um, but for confirmation that we are bouncing here we would need a bounce to bring us to at least 40 cents and make this zone into a support range but there also is the possibility for that to reject and the price to continue uh, making new lows but let's say this range down here 
uh, where we opened up roughly on the year is the bottom. What we need to happen now is that we need a daily close above that 200 day moving average, closing at about 35 cents or so uh, minimum. If that range could then flip into support, then I can see the price continuing its way up. Finally, make us above the 50 day EMA as well. And that would indicate that the price action is moving in a new trend line from the bottom that we hit at the beginning of the year. And I would expect it to move something like this, where it goes up, comes back down, eventually breaks out above, continues its ways, or possibly even we could have an explosive breakout straight up and flip that into a support. If you have a quick look at the RSI right now, it is in an uptrend, making higher lows. Also the Williams percent range uh, came out of that oversold range and is now moving towards overbought. So now right now, as the price action uh, starts to show a bottom here and makes a new higher low, it is indicating with the RSI that the buyers are starting to step in. And this breakout that we had here did get quite the rejection back down. So there is a possibility of us even coming right back down to test the lows at about 20 cents before we do break out. Or possibly Bitcoin could show some strength and start to continue to run towards all time high and XRP could benefit from that and also continue its way up towards the previous resistance levels. Or we could get some really good news regarding the lawsuit from the SEC with Ripple, and that would be an explosive move for XRP to come. But either way, if the price action does continue to move the way it is right now, making higher lows, then my price target for later this month would be right at about 40 cents. And we could be a lot higher than that, but that is my minimum target. But this week is the week that all the delisting will happen for XRP and trading suspensions. Uh, so there is a chance for a huge sell off once again. Um, we could even have a false breakout towards the upside to that 50 day EMA and then come right back down to test these lows here and possibly break that support and make a new low or even bounce there for a double bottom uh, to, to finally end downtrend. So if things do become bearish, uh, here's two scenarios I see happening. Uh, either a false breakout, we come back down, double bottom, and that double bottom does not hold, then we go back down, possibly test even 10 cents, 15 cents. Um, we could even have a double bottom with a higher low that then bounces and ends the downtrend, like I mentioned earlier, and brings us right up to around 40 cents. Or... Worst case scenario right now is XRP continues to go lower and lower. And then towards the 15th, when majority of uh, exchanges will be delisting or suspending trading, uh, the price falls, breaks down support, and makes a new low. So these two are probably the worst case scenarios we can see happening for XRP this month. So bearish, I'll be looking at the price to break that previous low or possibly even a double bottom, as I said to bring us right up to 40 cents, or even we could continue trending now and make it above 40 cents. And that news coming at the end of this week won't really impact the price, but we will find out and I'll keep you guys updated. So there you have it. I hope this video helps you out. I don't forget to comment below. Let me know if this video does help you out and also your favorite part of this video if you do have one. We really appreciate all the feedback you guys have been given, all the comments. We read them all, try to respond to them all. And we will keep you guys updated uh, on the latest news from Ripple and also the price action for XRP. And I'll see you guys in the next video. It's John from Currency.com. For more trading videos just like this, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.